On today's episode, I'll show you a 3D printed tool I created to save my thumbs. I'll explain it all on today's Film It Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. We have a Primo water unit in our house that actually can dispense really hot water so I can get tea right from the machine or I can get cold water or room temp water right from it as well. And the secret is the bottle underneath. This is purified water that we get. You just take the cap off, pop the tube in, slide it in, and now we got really fresh water. But getting these caps off can be an absolute pain. You peel this thing back and that's supposed to form a handle that you can then grab and pull the top off. And it's kind of under pressure, so it takes a lot of force. And sometimes that thing can tear off, which means now I got to find a way to get this off. And some bottles are tighter than others, but I'll push with my thumbs, I'll pull with my fingers. My wife has tried it and she complains she can't get these things off. Now, oftentimes I just use my thumbs and pop these off, and it really hurts. I've tried channel locks, but they don't work right. So I'm tired of my thumbs hurting. I needed a better solution. Now, I've got this tool for lifting covers off of big buckets, and it works really well, but only does one little section at a time. I wanted something that would cover the whole bottle, like a bottle opener. So I went to Thingiverse and found a bottle opener by user Leams. And all I need to do is maybe upsize this. So I took it to Tinkercad, I duplicated it, and then I'm going to upsize that. But to get the right size, what I actually did is I measured the cap, both the diameter and the thickness. And then I made a disc that same size and stuck it in the middle of the opener and then I upsized it until I got it to fit perfectly and it came out to almost 190 millimeters long. From there I exported it into Orca Slicer and I'm going to use my Creality K1 Max to print this which is some PLA at a 0.28 layer height. But for strength I'm going to use six walls to put a good edge on this thing and also just a 30% infill should be good. After slicing, it says it should take 48 minutes and 30 seconds. Not bad. And this is what it should look like. You can see the six layers going around the edge to make it stronger. And then I printed it on the K1 Max. Here it is printing in time lapse. And it came out really nice. This is really a simple print. But it should be incredibly handy if it works right, if I got the sizes right. So let's go to the water bottle. Here's a fresh water bottle. I'm going to peel back the cap, at least the lower portion that should form a handle. And I'm just going to pop the tool on. And wow, was that easy. <laughs> that was so easy. I love it. I got to show you that again. It's just so smooth and so easy. This is awesome. Now, if you want to print one of these, I'll put a link in the description below. And you can actually go to PCBWay.com if you don't have a 3D printer. Just click on 3D printing. And then you can upload the file and it will tell you exactly how much it'll cost to build in various materials. So they have a 3D viewer once it's uploaded. You can check it and make sure everything looks right before you commit to anything. And then you tell it the quantity. Now I'm simply going to say print one. $8.22 using resin, standard white material resin. On the right hand side it gives you the quote price and VAT and freight are included. So let's check out some other materials. PLA, same price. ABS, it's like double, $16. What about ASA? $29 for ASA. Holy cow. Nylon is cheaper, and you can get it dyed black. So this is a fun way to find out what it would cost if you don't have a 3D printer. Or even if you do, you can print it professionally at PCBWay.com. And don't forget, they've also got low-cost circuit boards. So check out PCBWay.com today. Now this is printed flat, so the edges are kind of squared off. So to make it a little smoother in my hand, I'm going to use my deburring tool and just round the edges off a little bit. Should make it feel better in my hand. And you can see it here. It's definitely rounded and definitely smoother. Now this tool is actually part of my Filament Friday Toolkit. This is a collection of all the tools over the last 10 years that I've used over and over again for 3D printing, as they show on the back of the box. So if you're interested, you can get it at Amazon.com. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I had to do this one more time for the video. I just love it. And I actually took this to the water store where we get our water. And the operator, the owner, loved it so much, he gave me my water for free in exchange for the tool. So if you're interested in this, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without you. Also, thanks members and anyone who buys through the affiliate links. Thank you so much. It all helps. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here 
at Chuck Hollabuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.